Today, I'm gonna show y'all the basics of how you wanna create a method, you feel me? So this is gonna give you guys context on how you guys can create your own methods and how people come up with methods, right? So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go and find cards that are desirable and they're kind of overpriced, right? So I got a card in mind that I already know that is kind of overpriced. Creating sets that are super profitable or creating certain things that are super profitable and that's how you're gonna make a lot of coins, right? So with this one, I wanna check and see if he's still kind of expensive. And this is the Lamar Jackson card. Okay, so this card is going for 70,000 coins. And you can see that most of these other cards are going for like 16, nine, very cheap, right? Very cheap. So for this price, super, super, super expensive. And you just wanna go ahead and find the sets that make sense, find out how you can make this card, right? 70K Lamar Jackson. So we gotta understand, after taxes, we're gonna get back, if we sold them for 70K, it'd be about 63K. So cool, now we gotta see, is it worth creating this man and trying to make coins off of it? Risk versus reward, right? Cause that's how it is with every single method. It's just risk versus reward. If you guys are doing a reroll method, it's just risk versus reward. If you spend 100K on training, um, what is your reward? If you get the high overall pool, it's going to be profit, right? But if you get the lower overall pool, what can I do? Can I make profit with this? Can I put this here? Whatever. That's how it works, right? Risk versus reward. So with that being said, we looking at Lamar Jackson and we looking at this is the set that's going to require that needs to be done for us to get this car. So we need 675 through 79s, 12 70 through 74s to get a random 80 through 87. This is not guaranteeing us Lamar Jackson at all. All it is is giving us an opportunity to get Lamar Jackson. So now we gotta think about if we need all of these cards, we need to see how much it's gonna cost to get 75 through 79s. Then we need to see how much it's gonna cost for us to get 70 through 74s. And then we can determine what's our risk versus our reward. We'll say 570. We need 675s, which is gonna be 750, right? So 750 and then times six is 4,500 coins. Then we need 1270 through 74s, which is gonna be 6K, right? So altogether, if we was to go ahead and buy the cards on the auction block, it'll cost us 10,500 coins every time we did one of these sets to get an 80 through 87, right? Now, with that being said, now we have to say, okay, how much am I gonna spend to make this worth it? Let's just say I only got 100,000 coins. I can make nine of these sets, right? And every time I make nine of these sets, I got a chance to get 80 through 87. Now, going through the prices, you're going to profit on this only if you pull Lamar Jackson. So you got to understand that. That is the card that you're looking for. But at the same time, you got to think about what can I do to make my coins back? So with that being said, if we pull Roquan Smith, we do make our coins back with the 87s, right? but everything else we're probably not gonna profit on. So we gotta understand that too. So every time you open up one of these, you get an 80, you lose 8K, right? You get an 84, you lose 6K. You get an 87, technically if you pull a Roquan Smith, you would make about 2K. And then if you pull a Lamar Jackson, every time you pull a Lamar Jackson, you're gonna make 50K. So you gotta think about that, right? So if I pull all 80s, right? And, and, and this is your risk, right? If you pull, all 80s, nine cards, you're gonna lose majority of your coins. So you have to understand risk versus reward. So if I did 100K increments, it'd be cool if I pulled Lamar Jackson one time and pulled a lot of other cards, but if I don't happen to pull Lamar Jackson, I'm gonna lose a lot of coins if I just buy these cards on the auction block, right? Let me go ahead and show y'all another way to get this done and you can kind of lower the cost on this, right? So let's say you went through the process and you was like, okay, I wanna do this, I got the same 100K, and I wanna try a different method, right? So the next method, which is kind of the more safer method in my opinion, I feel like is one of the safer ways to do sets in the game. It just takes a little bit longer. You're gonna do the get a player packs. You're gonna open these, you're gonna spend 100K or spend however many coins you, you wanna spend on it. Maybe you wanna spend 50K on it, right? And you're gonna average out the cost price, right? So these cards are gonna be upgraded. The silver cards are gonna be upgraded. I'm gonna go ahead and spend the 100K I'm gonna sell all the power-ups. You know, there's profitable power-ups and get a player packs always, and you're gonna keep all the cards you need for the sets. So, you, and, and that's really how you're gonna weather the storm. So let's say you spend 100K, right? And there's no guaranteed how many players you're gonna have for the set. So you gotta keep that in mind. But let's just say you spend 100K on get a player packs. 
what you would do is you're going to weather the storm. So you're going to upgrade all of your cards to 75 through 79s and 70 through 74s because that's what you need for the set. But then you're going to sell all of your power-ups and you're going to weather the storm through the power-ups. So however many coins you make with the power-ups, that's what's going to be how much you're going into the set. You're going to complete as many of those team of the week sets as you can with those gold cards. So let's just say when you spend 100K on get a player packs, you sold all your power-ups and you got back 50K. You then use all the gold cards, however many you did, and you put them into that team of the week set. Once you put them into the team of the week set, let's say you pull... Uh, five, not five Lamar Jackson, but let's just say you pull one Lamar Jackson, right? And then the rest of those team of the week cards is 80 to 84s. You can go ahead and use those team of the week cards for whatever sets you want to do or, and just sell the Lamar Jackson. You already made profit because you only went into those team of the week sets with 50K. So Lamar Jackson sells for 60K. You profit 10K, but then you got all those other cards right there. So that's one way to do it. And that's kind of like the, I feel like it's more of the safer way to do it. But then the next way to do it is you could do it with pro fantasies, right? So let's say you got 100K again. If you spend 100,000 coins on pro fantasies packs, you're going to be able to get seven pools, right? So let's say you just went ahead and you spent 100,000 coins on uh, pro fantasies and you was trying to do this method, right? So what you're going to do, what you're trying to do is you're trying to cover for your get a player, I mean, for your pro fantasy packs, right? But then at the same time, you're trying to pull cards for the sets. So like, for example, for the most part, you really don't like you care because you want to make profit. But at the same time, you don't care because you're just getting the gold card. So like you're getting all of these gold cards for this set. Yes, you're spending 15, 14K per pop. But the goal is to make profit and just keep the gold cards. Right. So if I'm opening up seven packs. I got seven chances to potentially make profit back. So if you're not going to get as many cards, like you're, you're probably going to get more cards from get a player packs, but you're going to spend less time with the pro fantasies. And I think you have a better chance at making coins with the pro fantasies than you do with the get a player packs. But it's just also a bigger risk at the same time, because if you open up seven packs and you, you make no coins back, then you just lost all those coins. After taxes, we'll get back at like what? 8,000, right? I spent 28K opening up two packs, but since we got Trey Waynes, we really only spent 20K because after taxes, he's going to sell, right? And you're going to keep doing that over and over and over again and weather the storm. And then if it makes sense, then you're like, okay, I can consistently do this method over and over and over again. And it could get me some profit. You feel me? Like this is a possible way to make coins, but you just have to go and value the risk versus reward because at the same time in my opinion i think this is could be a decent way to make coins because i enjoy opening up packs so this might be something that's enjoyable to me but for somebody else they might not be willing to take the risk right but i know for a fact that i'm getting these cards that are getting put back into the set so it's okay for me you know what i'm saying like it's it, it makes sense right so we're getting some decent pulls right here we get an 87 overall michael vick now remember after this Michael Vick pack, we are now 34K and into um, the, the the team of the week set, if that's what we're doing. But since we're selling Michael Vick, we're going to sell him at like, let's just say, we just to make it even, we'll sell him at, we're, I'm going to sell him at 19K. I'm going to get back 17K after taxes, right? But then at the same time, I got to subtract 17K from the 34K. So we opened up four packs, four of these pro fantasy packs, right? And we get to keep all the gold cards. But we now only owe 14K. So we only down 14K. You see what I'm saying? So if you could keep getting decent pulls, all of those cards that go into these team of the week sets will be virtually free or very low cost. Because we opened up four packs right now. We technically spent 56K on packs, but our pools gave us back enough, what, 39K? Or yeah, our pools gave us back about 39K. So now we really only spent 17K. You feel me? So that's really how you're going to weather the storm and kind of create methods in your own ways. So like this one, I wouldn't say it's like a super great method to do. But if you are winning on get a player packs or if you are winning on pro fantasy packs or if you can find a lot of those gold cards for lower than what I showed you in the video and you are getting lucky and pulling a lot of Lamar Jackson's, then it could be worth it for you. 
but essentially that's how you're gonna go ahead and go through the game and create new methods for you to do and if you have no coins to create these methods and you're trying to build coins check this video out man this video is gonna help you make coins even if you got zero coins you could take these strategies and use these strategies to make a lot more coins